It's time to talk about how Hausdorff measure and dimension change under transformations. As we've discussed before, one of the e simplest maps between metric spaces is that of the notion of Lipschitz map. So let's quickly recall that definition. Um, a map if from one metric space into another metric space is called L Lipschitz, L being a non-negative number, if um, for every x and y, fx, fy, less than or equal to L times distance xy, so for all pairs x and for all x and y. Uh, from both of these are from the domain metric space. Uh, so theorem is, or rather lemma, let's call it, is that for every delta positive and not infinity, and for every a subset of x, the host of content s, also s is arbitrary, of L delta, and uh, we're assuming L is positive to avoid technicalities, of f of a is less than or equal to L to power s, Hausdorff content delta of the set a. Okay, so if you let delta go to zero, what we get is that the Hausdorff measure of f of a is less than or equal to L to power s, Hausdorff measure of the domain. So the Lipschitz maps uh, increase the Hausdorff measure only by the power of the Lipschitz constant. Now this second formula is nicer because that also doesn't deal with the deltas. But the proof has to go through that. And the proof is quite simple. What you do is uh, you fix a delta covering of A. That means um, that is uh, quite that is close to optimal. Which means H S delta of A is very well approximated by the summation diameter E I's to power S and summation is over I. Then by the Lipschitz condition uh, diameter of f of ei will be less than or equal to l times diameter of ei. Okay, so just by definition of diameter. And that, that is less than l delta. So, f of a is contained in union of f of ei's um, is, a, is an l delta covering. Therefore, we can use it in the estimation of the L delta measure content of f of a. So this will be less than, because this is infimum of all such summations, this will be less than diameter f e i to power s summation over i. And then this one, by the estimate on the diameter, will be less than summation L to power, so each diameter of EI is less than L diameter EI, so this will be diameter EI to power S, we can take LS outside, and then the other summation is pretty much equal to HS delta of A by the choice of EIs. And uh, because we can make this estimate arbitrarily close, then we have the we have what we wanted. And the second claim obviously is um, just letting delta go to zero. Okay, that ends the 
estimates. So what is the corollary? The corollary is that the Hausdorff dimension of f of a will never increase. It's less than or equal to the Hausdorff dimension of the set you start with. Of course, it can get less because f, for example, can be a constant map. And this is again by definition because, and this, this inequality, if hs is finite, then hs of fa is finite. And uh, so that means when one is, the hs of a is zero, the other one is zero. Okay. Now we want to also do similar analyses on holder maps. So let's recall their definition again. F x to y is alpha holder, where alpha is a positive real number. If there exists a constant such that, again, similar to Hausdorff measure, you want to control how far the image of pairs of points can get. So this time, you can control only up to a power of the distance in the, in the domain. So what can we claim about the behavior of holder maps with respect to Hausdorff measure? The answer is that H S over alpha dimensional Hausdorff measure of image will be bounded by this C in the definition over alpha H S measure of the set you start with. So uh, the assumptions here are, well, there's no restriction. So it's for every S for every subset of the metric space X, um, we have this. The proof is very similar, but I want to point out the main uh, fixings you need to you need to have. If A contained in union of E I, so I don't want to get into the content part, so I will be more sketchy this time. So if A is the, is a near optimal uh, delta covering, say. So let's avoid that, as I said, the covering. Um, then, well, I have to, that's why. So then um, F of A is obviously contained in, this is a set theoretic thing, F of EIs is a delta to power so so basically this this c is inconsequential but the, the main po point is this will be s over alpha covering this because now the control over diameter of fei is only c to s over alpha so i'm sorry so this is just c c and then diameter of ei to power s over alpha that's because of the definition of holder continuity so this is that covering and therefore we can use it to estimate the s over alpha dimensional hostile content but we said we want to be faster f of a will be estimated by summation over i of diameters of f e i to the power s over alpha but then we had we already discussed that this will be uh, less than c diameter of e i to power alpha and then to power s over alpha summation i and that is the point. Alphas now cancel out in the power. So this becomes less than or equal to C to 
this over alpha, and this becomes summation of diameters of EI to power S. But that, by assumption, is pretty close to being optimal for the computation of HS of A. And uh, that's, that's, that's it. So you get that. What is the corresponding corollary? Uh, that would be that the Hausdorff dimension of image. So if the corollary is that if the Hausdorff dimension of A is equal to S, then the Hausdorff dimension of that the image of that set will be no bigger than s divided by alpha. So that will be the corollary. Um, an interesting application of this is to the space filling curves. Um, suppose f is from the unit interval 0, 1 onto, it's a surjective map, onto the unit cube. Then F cannot be um, alpha holder for any alpha bigger than 1 over 2. So that means you cannot uh, have space filling curves that are uh, too smooth, too regular. Uh, in general, we love Lipschitz maps, so if the alpha holder the alpha is closer to one that means that the function is nicer so this is saying that you cannot have alpha bigger than one that means you cannot have too nice of a function and it still have um, the unit interval cover the unit square so proof is from the corollary follows from corollary because on the one hand, we have dimension Hausdorff of f of a equal to 2 because it's equal to the square. And uh, on the other hand, we have the dimension of the a itself equal to 1. So here, a is the unit interval. And uh, so we we have that 2 the dimension of the image must be less than or equal to 1 s which is dimension of the image over alpha and from which it follows that alpha is less than or equal to 1 half that's a nice application and we'll end our video here thanks for watching uh, please uh, find the PDF in the description of the video as usual and see you in a future video soon.